approximately 10 30 this morning um, the owner of uh, one of the establishments in town reported that there was a individual sleeping in, in, in his hallway uh, our, one of our police officers went to investigate uh, and to wake him up and, and realize that he was the, the suspect that has been being sought uh, in the, uh, the the other bombings that had occurred prior he was sleeping in the door jam of a bar here in Linden and yes in, in the hallway I believe of, uh, of, of, of one of the bars here in Linden did someone, so it was just the owner of the bar who saw him and recognized him, did he suspect it might be the suspect for whom everyone was looking? I don't believe so. I, I, I just think he thought it may have been a vagrant or, 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 or someone uh, looking for a place to stay. So the minute that officer saw the face, he, he recognized he realized that, that was Rahami? It, it was, yes, he realized it was the suspect. Um, and uh, within moments, the, the suspect uh, fired on him. And thank God uh, that he had his, uh, his, his, his vest on. And, uh, and I think that was very helpful for him. It's, uh, I, it, I think that saved his life. So then another uh, responding officer, um, I want to bring you in, Captain. Um, tell me your name, sir, again. Uh, James Sarnicki. And so what happened when the other officer came in? Uh, well, when the officer tried to arouse the man in the, in the uh, doorway, uh, he noticed when a man picked up his head, he noticed that the man had a beard on and he looked like the suspect that was being sought. Uh, told him to show me your hands and the suspect had his hand like on the side in a uh, valise and he pulled out a handgun and he fired a shot at the officer uh, striking him in his bulletproof vest in his abdomen uh, at that point the officer returned fire and uh, as uh, the gentleman got up and started walking down the street and uh, we were told we we're monitoring radio transmissions and the officer was uh, firing his uh, handgun indiscriminately as he was walking down the street at some point our officers uh, responded more, uh, returned fire, and it, uh, we were able to uh, uh, actually take him down. Is his car down the street? I know we're just a, a little bit away from where all this went down. Everybody was looking for this Honda 2003. Yeah, the, uh, our investigation was turned over to the FBI, so they're, they're the lead on this, and the, they're actually, it's a very active crime scene, and the FBI is the lead on this, so uh, I'm sure they're looking into uh, all aspects of this. Uh, I'm not privy to many details at this point. Rahami was shot where? On the arm, the leg? I know he was shot, but he survived. F from what I saw, he was shot uh, several times. Uh, he was conscious and awake when he was on the ground uh, uh one shot in the leg maybe a shot in the arm uh but uh, he was conscious and, and awake uh, when he was taken into custody we're already hearing that they're working on charges and can you talk about the other one one i don't know the exact we number know. We, 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 so. we don't know the number several several shots so yeah. what the white department and the officers are okay well the officers appear to be okay we had three officers uh, who, who have been taken to the hospital uh, one for the bullet fragments uh, or the fragments of the vehicle which may have hit him in the head uh the other who was shot in the vest, and one of our officers, um, I think he has high blood pressure, uh, he's being evaluated as well. For stress? Uh, yes, I would say stress. Traumatic event. Traumatic event, yeah. absolutely. All right, thank you so much. So we're staying back. We're, we're just uh, about a block away. Um, excuse me, sorry. A lot of other members of the press moving in here. Uh, but that's the latest uh, from Linden, Michelle Charles with Channel 7, Eyewitness News.